Hello. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how we can program Arduino or the Node MCU board without using Arduino ID and we can program these boards also just like we do for our PLCs using Ladder, ST or FBD, IL using Open PLC. So let's see uh, how we can do. So first we need to create the folder. So in the folder, uh, this all the programs will get generated. So we'll start with the Blink program. So we can select either of the language. So I am selecting ladder. So this is the ID where we need to uh, define. So first we will define the variables. So on the top side, we can define variable. Location is nothing but location is just uh, the addresses. So these are the, the physical address or the memory addresses. So let's start with adding rails on both sides. So as we do, as we have the ladder, then we will connect uh, the contacts and the output and we will assign also the variables so this is uh, just a basic logic i'm creating uh, for the blink now we can uh, even uh, run it in the simulation mode so this is uh, uh, going into the simulation mode so it will create a emulator directly into your system and then we can simulate the logic after that um, we can also directly uh, put this into the board which we want so here we will get the selection and we will we can select the com port so where the arduino board is connected so that we can go get it from the device manager and we can select the board type and then we can say upload so it will uh, if you are doing it for the first time then during the upload actually it will take a uh, lot of time because it will download all the boards and get it at uh, runtime installed into the system. So it takes a lot of time for the first first time. After that, it will not take uh, much time. So it will upload the whole program into uh, the board. So we will get the confirmation that it is done. So once it is done, we can see that uh, the board is running with the same program. So the blink, so the inbuilt uh, LED is blinking. Let's see uh, by changing the scan rate. So, as uh, we, if you remember, we changed uh, the. We have option to change the different scan rates, as we do for any PLC. And with that scan rate, this uh, blinking will also differ. So, as I have put it for the five seconds. So let the program get uploaded. So. Once it is uploading into the Arduino board, we can see that uh, now the LED blinking will be in a time of five seconds as we have changed the scan scan rates. So uh, yeah, this is a different mode. So uh, you can uh, configure in any of the time frame uh, as you want, or we can even configure uh, this uh, board for different logics what we want to create. So I'm just giving you the basics of how we can do. So I have right now I've done doing it for the one second part. So once this get uploaded, the LED will blink for in a in a time frame of one second. So this is this is for uh, the Arduino board. How exactly we can program? So the same program. Uh, uh, so once we have written the program, now if we want to utilize it for another boards, it is going to be very simple. We. So uh, let me show you uh, how we can do it for the Node MCU. So same program, uh, only in the in the physical uh, locations, correct? So that we need to change. So. QX003 uh, is in built LED for Arduino board, but it is not the same for uh, Node MC board. So, it, it's, uh, okay. so, let me show you how exactly it differs. So, QX0.3 and QX0.2. So, let me create two different uh, logic for the same blinking part. So, not different logic, but uh, yeah, at two different addresses. And when we upload this, then you see 
now the LED with Q uh, x0.2 the LED is blinking in node MCU and at Q x0.3 another pin is getting activated which is uh, driving the delay so that we only need to uh, consider uh, basically so uh, so this is the old ID we can always check for the updates so uh, once the up update is completed so for me the update is already done so we it is almost the same, same steps we have to follow there is no difference on new ID also on its a little look and feel has changed uh, and uh, uh, rest remains everything uh, sim similar so there is no difference on, on that part so yeah that's all uh, you can uh, we can program uh, the node MCU board or the Arduino board using uh, open PLC ID and uh, it if uh, the PLC engineer they want to utilize only the latter logic it is a very good platform to program uh, Arduino or the, any of the board so it supports a lot of uh, boards and uh, almost like uh, whatever we do the program from uh, Arduino ID itself so those all are supported uh, utilizing this particular ID also even the Raspberry Pi is we can program so they also have the runtime for the Raspberry Pi so yeah that's all for this video so keep uh, trying new things new ID uh, keep programming uh, and keep learning the different options thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one